a very popular video topic on YouTube is making Minecraft in a few days, and I'll definitely do this for a future video, but let's start with something different. Let's make Terraria in just 3 days using C++ and also let's have it support multiplayer. Now, the first thing that I had to research was my local supermarket for the energy drinks that I will be running on these 3 days. After that, I started with displaying blocks to the screen. I opened the original art to see how I was supposed to render the tiles and got a little surprise. Turns out there are many many variations for a block tile for different combinations of placement. I figured I don't have to use all of them to get a good result and reuse the same rules for all the tiles because they seem to all share the same format. And oh boy was I wrong. It seems like all blocks have special variations for when they touch dirt or not, except dirt that has also special variations but I don't know what for. Well, after figuring that out, I started hard coding the rules and got the tile rendering up and running. For now at least. To test it though, I'll implement the world generator. For this, usually you use what is called Perlin noise, which is basically random numbers but that are somewhat related to each other, so you can generate mountains or caves. I first added the terrain shape, then stone, some random number of blocks down, and then some holes and ore patches. You can see however that the tiles are not rendering properly. This is because grass tiles seem to have some slightly different rules than the rest of the blocks, so back to hard coding I go. The next day I started with working at trees and the player character. Terraria has lots of customizations like changing the colors, hair type and clothes. They achieve this by using many layers of body parts that all combine to make the player. This means that I have to figure out what all of the sprites represent before I can piece them together. Before adding animations to the player, I thought I'll quickly copy some block collision code from an old project to implement character movements. Animations in games like this are usually achieved by creating each frame of the player and then displaying them to the screen. The problem is that for the player, the animation sprites look like this, so I had to figure out what each part was. I even added a character creation menu because I didn't want to implement some more important stuff yet. Well, not before another energy drink. Now it was time to implement multiplayer support. The first thing that happens in a multiplayer game is you, the player, connecting to the server. This step is called a handshake and it basically is some information exchange between the client and the server. This is how it works in my game. The server sends the player a unique ID, the map data, and all the other players connected to the server. And the player sends his skin to the server, so all the others can see him connect to the game. In order to get this working, I stole again some code from my multiplayer game project. If you want to see some more explanations about multiplayer related stuff, the link is in the description. Now it was the last day and there was one more thing I wanted to do before I ran out of time and mental sanity. Some kind of non-player control character, because I've never implemented something like this in a multiplayer game. I added a guide and it works like any other player, but its input is controlled by the server and sent to each player connected. This is the final state of the game, and while I didn't have enough time in 3 days to implement something more interesting, I'll definitely return to it with some updates. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. If you want to take a look at the code, the GitHub link is in the description. 